it's been a while since I wore a sweatshirt. Oh my god, it's so warm. Oh, uh, cue the song. Sweatshirt. Uh. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and it's eviction prediction number three and a little bit of a roundup of what's happened this week. So I am currently zero and one. I had a loss because I thought Emma would go but Marco went but I predicted Natalie last week and did I get it right? It's time to talk to the house. Here you go. Charlie. Votes and second to be evicted is Natalie. Yes, I did. So I am 1 1. I'm currently doing worse than I did in January, and I nearly got them all right in January, bar a few. But will I get the eviction prediction right this week? Hmm, bit of a toughie, but we'll see how we go. This week has been crazy again. Like, the series is really picking up. Like, at the start, I was like, okay, yeah, I mean, the cast isn't, like, that great. But, oh, my God, have I changed my mind. The romances have completely changed for the good and bad. Ryan and Huey had a good time under the covers. I'm not going to get into that. And Georgina and Jackson, wow. Like, Jackson is Georgina's puppet. And you can't say that's false because, hello... She can't let him do anything. Like, if he even breathes, he's like, she's like, well, um, what are you doing? Her moodiness this week, wow, just wow. Like, what is wrong with her? Like, just smile. It's just a smile. You don't have to fake it or anything. Unless she's never smiled before. I mean, I'm not going to judge, but just what the hell? The Big Brother house was turned into Big B Corp and Chelsea ran the whole operation with Ryan, Emma, Sam and Georgina. How they passed that task, I mean, you, can't, you couldn't be negative, you couldn't swear, you couldn't do anything wrong, but they, mo they did that like most of the time, so how they passed I do not know. And da da da, Fishbowlgate. Like, why is it called a fish bowl? I mean, like, I know it's a bowl, but why the fish? But basically, some of the housemates decided they wanted to take their drinks and then mix it and put it in, like, a cocktail. And, well, some others weren't happy. God knows why, because it wasn't their drink. They decided to just mix the drinks. It wasn't, like, anything major. Ryan jokingly said, oh god, like what the hell is going on? And then Sam took it to heart. Sam then went and confronted everyone, said, oh, well, why are you all like upset about it? They said they were just joking, which they were. And then Sam went and spoke to everybody in the smoking area. And, and Alex, why? Why? Alex went to go talk to the group and say, well, there's a problem here there was no problem like what like the there was like there was no problem so he didn't need to say anything and then everybody was screaming at ryan and then leticia joined in and then huey joined in and you know what huey's like he screams like a banshee now i don't know if you guys remember the winner nadia on bb5 but he huey is so like nadia her point like was heard like 100% dedication to the point and that's what Huey's like he just screams the passion like he should be like Mediterranean his Mediterranean temperament he just screamed now I don't usually condone that but oh my god I love Huey and Alex is so boring so like team Huey all the way even though Huey well looked like he was gonna punch Alex but I'm not gonna condone violence but if he did I'd be pretty funny even though Huey might have been kicked out he probably would have been kicked out but that might have knocked sense into Alex like I've spoken to this wall like this wall like this wall 
this wall has more personality than Alex. Like his best friend, Vicky Patterson from Geordie Shore. How is she supporting him? Yeah, he's great on the outside. Yeah, great. I'm not seeing that in the house. I'm sorry, Vicky. Like, I know you're a lovely woman and everything, but I mean, like, we're not seeing anything from Alex. And do not blame the editing, for God's sake. Everybody else has said he's boring and they live with him 24 seven. So I mean, hello? And then to top it all off, the nominated housemates, Andy, Georgina, Evelyn, and Jane, all heard who nominated them, yay! Now, I'm not really into this outside contact thing and this nominations revealed, because that's what the diary room's for. You do not hear what people say in the diary room because it's the diary room. Like, it's a diary, like, it's like it speaks for itself. You do not open the diary. You don't see what's in the diary. Diary room. And that went so well. Georgina faced like thunder. But yes, Andy, Evelyn, Jane and Georgina are up for eviction. The third eviction. I'm going to go through each housemate, see who I think should go, see what they've done this week and make my eviction prediction. So first up is Andy. Had a little bit of an altercation this week. He said something which was a fair point, but then said it in a way that's like really patronising, really passive aggressive, and you, you just don't do that. Like it's it's not it's not a great look. But I did feel sorry for him when he started crying, like when he heard his nominations and then Jason went up to him and gave him a hug so I was like oh no plus Andy is like a little bit relatable I mean I know he's had a big job and everything but like he comes from a normal background so he's pretty relatable like like the winner Chloe last year she was boring as hell but she was the most relatable and people want to see relatable people like oh my god I'm like that person Next up is Evelyn and I was campaigning to get her out at the beginning of the week but she started to speak or maybe just because it's Georgina and she just doesn't like her. Yeah, she started to speak up a bit more. I feel like if Laura wasn't there she'd be just be irrelevant, cardboard even though she is already. So if Evelyn went I wouldn't really mind but saying that who's gonna vote to evict her but saying that the public voted in an app poll to decide who wouldn't get a reward and they voted Evelyn and I heard it was pretty unanimous that speaks a lot like if people are voting in a poll a meaningless poll to not let Evelyn receive a reward then what's stopping them to evict her next is Georgina oh my god I loved her until this week what is wrong with her like she's controlling jackson now i don't like jackson anyway but georgina like what the hell like just let the poor guy do what he wants why you've known the guy for three weeks just calm the hell down the fact that she said she's wasted a whole month of her time really made me want to scream I really want you to scream. I was like, there's loads of other people who wanted to do this process and you are just sat there like, I don't want to do this. I'd love, I'd love to do Big Brother. I, I mean, I know a lot of people who'd love to do Big Brother and she's sat there moaning. Like, if you don't like it, love, get out. And lastly is Jane. Now, I absolutely love Jane. Now, I know she's been a little bit quiet this week, but then her one-liners in the diary room just make up for it. I mean, she's so entertaining. And now, I don't know what people on bit on the side last night were on about. Oh, uh, yeah, she's boring. She's done nothing. Um, excuse me? She does not need Natalie. She doesn't need anyone. She's just funny on her own. Even like when she was cleaning, it was hilarious. So, my eviction prediction. Do I take a risk? Or not? I, I want to take a risk, but I don't know whether to... Okay, I'm going to take a risk. I think Georgina will go. Kind of don't want her to go. I kind of want Evelyn to go because, I mean, yeah, you're speaking up now, but what's stopping you from just going down again like you did 
the last three weeks. So yeah, I, th I think it's Georgina. Loads of people are really starting to hate her. She got a lot of love in the first two weeks and now she's just really getting irritating and more people are siding with Emma. I know, the plant lover. So yeah, I really think Georgina's gonna go. Just before I end the video, I am filling in for a few people on Big Brother's Big Eye, a radio show which we just talk about random stuff that's happened in the house, who's evicted, nominations, all that kind of stuff with David and Lucy. I'll link their Twitters in the description. But yeah, it's so much fun and you can call in if you have an opinion or you can just go in the chat and talk to people who are listening as well. And personally, I think you get more information from that show than you do on bit on the side it's pretty sad really but i mean thank the lord we have like radio shows like that that like actually give you news and discussion so yeah i'll leave you a link in the description where you can find the radio show as well and all that kind of stuff thank you for watching and i will talk to you guys later goodbye